Right, hello there. This is Mark from Osmio Water, and I, this is just a presentation on the Acrivetti liquid water softener. And I'm going to quickly run through it and tell you why it's the clever choice for softening in the house and why it's a lot better than getting a, a salt softener. Here we go. So, what is a liquid softener? A liquid softener is a device which goes at point of entry, which injects a small amount of softening liquid called aquasil as the water flows through the pipe, and that aquasil coats all the limescale minerals and stops them from sticking to each other, which prevents any formation of limescale. The liquid, which is found in Brita filters and, and used by all the major coffee shops, um, is 100% drinkable, it's a natural substance, and uh, unlike softened water, which has a high sodium content, is completely drinkable. So that's why it's a lot better. Um, it's different to a, a salt based softener just purely because a salt softener has to regenerate every so often. So it has to uh, mix a salt solution, backwash the tank and chuck thousands of litres of water down the drain in order to recharge the resin in the softener. Whereas a, a liquid softener doesn't waste any water. Um, you also need big heavy 25 kilo bags of salt to chuck in the cabinet so it can mix that brine solution. And with a, with a liquid softener you've got a small bag of liquid that attaches to the device which uh, you know, a, a, a litre's worth does 44,000 litres of water so it's, it's not changed very often at all whereas every couple of weeks you'll be topping up the softener um, and it will take up much less space um, and it's also much easier and less costly to maintain because you don't need to run a bypass um, installation can take half an hour or less a salt softener can take hours and and you know be very difficult to install and liquid sof softeners use the latest technology whereas the salt softeners technology has been around for so long it hasn't changed in a, in a long time so I'm going to quickly run you through an example of how uh, a family of four using 150 litres a day would traditionally pick a salt softener which is anything from four to eight hundred pounds whereas a liquid softener retails at 165 the installation cost is going to be 250 plus whereas a liquid is 85 a total cost saving up front of possibly more than a thousand pounds um, and that's just in the fixed costs alone whereas when you look at the variable costs the same family using 219,000 litres will get through 200 kilos of salt which is you know eight eight to ten bags and uh, with the liquid softener they'll, they'll use five litres of liquid they'll be wasting nearly 10,000 litres of water whereas a liquid softener wastes no water and the costs will roughly equalize but then you have to consider that 200 kilos of salt and you have to consider that 10,000 litres of wastewater. So from a financial perspective it will balance out in terms of variable costs but it may will make you feel better by not wasting 10,000 litres and all that those 10 bags of salt you know the the weight of the salt and the space it takes up is is, is a bit ridiculous. So, um, looking at the size of the actual device it's a much tinier device it's it's hard to imagine this little thing would work as well as that but it does it works exactly the same way um, instead of using eight kilos uh, eight seventy five kilo bags of salt you're going to be using five small liters of salt um, and changing it much much uh, less frequently than you would with a with a salt uh, bag um, and you just overall taking up much less space and, and it's much more environmentally friendly and cost effective and easier to maintain and it's the clever choice it basically um, I can imagine salt softeners are going to be dead in in maybe within 30 years and everyone will be using this more advanced technology um, now if you have any questions you can visit our website osmiawater.co.uk which has more technical spec of the item you can ring us free on 0800 002 9533 we'd love to hear your questions um, you can also read plenty of reviews from people who are using this device and uh, uh, sharing their experience we'd love you to buy one and write a review on the website and share your experience too and uh, please do get in touch with any questions or comments thank you